A backup administrator is asked to perform a file level restore on a Windows VM for the first time. Since VM backup replication has been installed and left unconfigured, which of the following items would be used during this process? Hmm, so presumably to do restore, we would have to have at least the infrastructure added and so that we, we, we were able to perform a backup, right? So, so it doesn't really say if it's Hyper-V or VMware, it doesn't matter, but that infrastructure would have been added. We would have to set up a job and the job would have had to complete successfully at least once. Otherwise, there's no way we can do a restore. So let's, let's make that assumption. Mm, what do we then have? Uh, mount server configured for file level restore appliance. Now it's a Windows VM, so we don't need any appliance, but if it was Linux, it's true, then you need this helper appliance or helper host, but then we don't really, um, but we don't really need that, right? It's, it's, it's Windows, uh, we, can, we, we don't need anything like that. So that's a distractor. The mount server configured for the Veeam backup and replication server. So this, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because what we need to understand is to do a file level restore, what is the process? The process is the backup gets mounted on the mount server. And then on the mount server, you can go to the C drive and find a folder called Veeam FLR. And inside you can see the virtual machine, you can see the different disks, you can see them browse them, right? So that's the mount server. The trick here though, is to understand what's the process. The mount server is not configured for an entire backup and replication server. It has no connection whatsoever to the proxy. So this is its structure. It is however, configured on a per repository basis, right? When you set up a repository, you define which mount server should be used for this repository typically the same server. However, if it was a Linux repository, you would have to select a Windows server of some sort. So let's go here, Veeam, use a guide, mount server, specify mount server settings. Okay, so here we have screenshots and we can see I'm creating a repository. And for that repository, I define which server is going to be the mount server, right? So it's definitely this one up here. I'm sure some of you are thinking about this. Well, if it's some default installation, uh, it's an all-in-one, it's my default repository, it's the backup server. Yes, it's the server that's also the backup server, but it's the mount server that's being used and you don't configure that on a per backup server basis. You configure it on a per repository basis. That's the small but very important detail that makes answer A the correct answer.